The Vehicle to Load, or V2L feature on your Ionic, is an innovative way to use its stored electricity. You can use it to operate electronics, power appliances and camping equipment, or even charge a stranded EV, all using the electricity stored in the high voltage battery of your Ionic. To use V2L from the charge port, you'll need the available V2L connector accessory, which can be purchased from your authorized Hyundai dealer. Some models also have a power port located under the center of the rear seats. This does not require the V2L connector accessory to use. Before using V2L, it is advised that you set the discharging limit. This will set the maximum amount of battery usage from the high voltage battery. Select EV on the touch screen. Then select V2L. You can then set the system to use as much as 80% of the high voltage battery's available charge. Once the discharge limit is set, you can then connect using the V2L connector. First, open the cover of the connector. Then plug in the desired item to be powered or charged and connect it to the charging inlet of your Ionic. Then close the cover of the V2L connector. The charging inlet will temporarily change to auto lock to prevent theft. Press the switch on the V2L connector, then confirm that the system is operating by seeing if the light is on or off. There will also be an indicator on the dash cluster, letting you know that V2L is transferring power. If the light is not on, it can be because the current draw will exceed the battery discharge limit set. If the light does not turn on and a warning message for V2L appears on the instrument cluster, refer to the message and any instructions it may have. To turn off V2L, press the button and the light will turn off. Then press the door lock unlock button on the smart key. You can then disconnect the V2L connector. Hyundai recommends not using the exterior V2L connector in poor weather, such as rain or snow. To use the interior power port found on some models, slide the cover open. The indicator light will change color depending on the status of the V2L system. A blue light indicates standby mode. A green light indicates a normal connection and power flow. A red light indicates no power supply. This can be because the current draw will exceed the battery discharge limit set. Your owner's manual contains more information on the V2L feature. Please be certain to read it before using V2L. For more helpful information on your Ionic, be sure to explore the how-to guides on the Hyundai USA YouTube channel and myhyundai.com.